we so far in the Holy Scriptures prophecies on how God said everything is, 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 is supposed to be, that I find it real difficult to find other people who are believers like me. I know every man is given a measure of faith, you know, everybody's calling is different, you know, but I find myself praying to God like, well, where are my brothers and sisters in Christ? Where are they? You know, like the people who try their best to not sin, fornicate, etc. You know what I'm saying? And then for more than that, where are the people who are filled with the Holy Ghost? I don't see where these people are. You know, the people who are being persecuted for the name of Jesus Christ. Where are the people who are being persecuted? I just see a bunch of people who are looking to be the oppressor. Victims seeking to victimize. You can never victimize from a place to being the victim because you're going to always see as about somebody that's hurt or angry because of what happened to you. And then you're only seeking to do what was done to you. So you can never be a victimizer. You can never be some, t some form of bully, you know, because you've been bullied. And you're trying to bully somebody that can't be bullied because God, is, Jesus Christ, is fighting for them. Lord have mercy. Confusion consumes them. It's, there's a way that seems right to a man. But what he say? There's a there's a way that seems right to a man, but I don't want to finish it off because I don't want to guess it. But I'm going to put it in the description. I already know there's people who know it like the back of their hand. So y'all know what I'm talking about. The Lord have mercy. And it becomes a situation where it's like they follow around with a Bible in their hand saying, in a sense, like just like you would know the rest of the scripture. You know, people would like try to hold you up to the Bible and hold that. And it's like, it's not bad works that I get to heaven, that anybody get to heaven. But your faith will have works. So my faith will come to this video here like, where are the where are the other believers at? There's a lot of people who don't even want to hear the word of God, or at least from me, because what they evangelate, the negative smear campaigns that they evangelate about. You know what I'm saying? I wish I was able to turn the camera around. How they pull up and have behind trees and come on, man. You know, you're doing stuff to try to intimidate me. And, and you, you know, I, I have to go inside my mind and try not to be aggravated, verbally and impulsive, giving the, the, the Satan the foothold. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm fighting. You know what I'm saying? So that only helps to prune me you know it only helps to um uh with my wine press process you know you have to go through the crushing you have to suffer it's long suffering you know long suffering you know not short suffering but long suffering you have to suffer for the kingdom of heaven show yourself to be worthy of escape from the great tribulation God is going to bring on the world. You know, that's why he's, that's why God said, I believe in second Peter. Uh, it's the test of your faith. You know, that's what it is. You know, you, you know, you go being tested with fire. So the fire, you know, you put fire to anything. It's going to turn it black. So you think of people, you know, when you go through mark of victimization and the cloud being over you, you know, just like gold, when you put fire to it, it turns black. That's the black magic, the mark of victimization, the target that the people will put on you. But you still got to hold your ground and bearing fruits. Keep your roots because the roots is what keeps the tree firm. 
You know what I'm saying? Keep it watered with the word of God. Stay in prayer. You know what I'm saying? You know. Keep your, keep yourself in fellowship with other believers. Don't neglect fellowship with other believers. Right? You know what I'm saying? So it becomes a situation where it's like, you know, now after that situation with the black magic, now you got some person who feel they're a good witch will come through and use white magic to get it off. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you're still who you are. You're still a believer in Jesus Christ. Nothing's changed. That's like me having a hat on. Right? And then, okay, king with a crown. Right? And then somebody come and put tape over the crown. Well, you're still a king. Right? You're still a king. Nothing's going to change that. And then he have a... a, a a, a quote-unquote good witch comes through and take the tape off there so now your anointing shines but everybody know you a king it's just somebody doing black magic on you you know what i'm saying witchcraft you know but jesus didn't suffer for a wish to live whether it be white magic black magic pink magic voodoo hoodoo you know what i'm saying it doesn't matter no weapon form against you shall prosper you know so now we got to be stop ourselves from being verbally impulsive, you know, as we go through the wine press. Many will be deceived, loving the lie and hating the truth. Therefore, the persecution comes behind it. Jesus said, they hated me. They're going to hate you. They persecuted me. They're going to persecute you. They didn't know who I was. And these are people who read the Bible, Pharisees and scribes. They read the Bible and still miss them. So who, who, who you think they think you are? definitely not somebody that's better than them in the sense of you having God's spirit which gives you authority over them you know they're going off of intellectual or knowledge of the world you know what I'm saying they're not going off of how God is using you therefore that's all knowing there because whatever God wants you to know you will know you seek and you shall find. You knock and the door should be open. You seek in knowledge. God said he gives wisdom freely to those who ask. So you ask for free. I, I normally get it within three days. I don't know about nobody else. You know what I'm saying? But I normally get what I want in three days. You know what I'm saying? And... I don't even ask for money, you know what I'm saying? Because I know that's going to come, you know what I'm saying? You know, it just, you know, in due time. My thing is I ask for healing, you know what I'm saying? I ask for my calling, what it is. Give me a, a, a confirmation that I'm on the right path. And he always give me the uh, confirmation that I'm on the right, right path. Don't be confused about things that's going on around you because God already told you what's going on around you. Why are you confused? You know, why are you not bearing fruit? You know, so accidents happen so he can sit you still and be like, look, I told you no weapon form against you shall prosper. They wanted to kill you when they hit you with that car. Me hit me with the car. Fresh of the vertebrae in my spine. I could have been uh, paralyzed. But God told me to work my back muscles three days before the accident happened. Right. Boom. OK, so it becomes I got already got a video on that. Look through the videos. So push gun to show, and it happened September like the twelfth. So around September, sometime I got the video up around that time. So you know it becomes a situation where it's like, you know, we just gotta learn to be content while being consistent and not stagnant. You know, continue to walk in love, love your enemies, and bless those who curse you and despitefully use you. That's easy to do because as long as you forgive. And don't care about it. It's nothing. You can see a person that need help and be like, now this person to come to attack me. I can't cast my prayer before swine. So I just sit back and enjoy the show. You know what I'm saying? You know, and pray that God sends his truth to him. You know what I'm saying? That's all I can do. You know what I'm saying? Stay in my lane and don't be unequally yoked with sinners. You know? So... 
you know, it just becomes a situation after that, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, Russia. I already, I already knew Russia. I made a video about that too, probably a few videos, saying that Vladimir Putin is G-O-G. Gog in Russia is Magog. Not Lord, but but G O G. You know, and Russia is Magog, Gog Magog. You know, God already said in His Word that He's going to hit the weapon from one side, and He's going to friendly fire pretty much. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happened with Wagner, the Wagner group over there. And it's going to get worse. Oh, it's going to get worse. Because you got to understand, Vladimir Putin was... Vladimir Putin was um, bombing citizens' buildings. Not just once, not just twice. If that makes me angry, just think how angry God is. Lord have mercy. And then it still sit there. That's a revelation. It still sit there gracefully. Still pouring out your spirit, looking, searching the earth, seeking who you can give he can, who God can give his holy spirit to. After all this stuff is going on, he's still looking to forgive. So who am I to walk with animosity toward people who are seeking to destroy me? Doing witchcraft, doing spells, voodoo, you know, all this type of sorcery and all this. I could care less about you being bumper to bumper, but you got to understand that when I speak up for myself, it's not in a place like I want to cause harm. I just know you ain't. That's my stance on it. I just know you ain't. You know what I'm saying? Any weapon you form is not going to prosper. I can't represent God being in, in fear of somebody being bumper to bumper with me or flying around my car. Man, that don't mean nothing. It's happening on the expressway all the time. So me driving down a regular street and you zipping past, it doesn't mean anything. You don't have patience. You don't have the Holy Spirit in you to be able to have patience. That's why there's so many accidents out here. <laughs> the speed limit in Chicago is 45. You get on the expressway, people doing 80 as a normal speed. Then, of course, you got people doing 100, whatever the case may be. So 75, 80 miles per hour is a normal speed in Chicago. And sometimes if all people are speeding, it's going to easily be 90, 85, 90 miles per hour. Police don't pull nobody over. Lawlessness increased because of the love of many West Coast. People, we, in these times, people will be going to and from, right? People will be going to and from. Of course, Satan goes to and from like a roaring lion, seeking who he can devour. But people will be going to and fro. So that's on the regular street on a school day. 20 miles per hour, people going 40 and 50. Like, then you just, and you wonder why you got a ticket on your car? You wonder why you got a fish or suspension? You're speeding over bumps. There's bumps all in the city. And you and there and pet boys looking stupid. Because now you got to shell out all this money. Because you just got, you know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> you just got your uh, suspension fits maybe within the last two years. Which would probably be 25,000 miles, you know what I'm saying? It just don't make any sense, you know? It's really sad how all these things can go on, you know what I'm saying? And it just becomes a situation where, you know, we folks rejoice when these signs, when we see these signs. Some people, you know what I'm saying, they don't want to hear it. I go to the gym. The gym that I uh, attend, they used to have, um, I think there's a lot of ants on this doggone park bench. 
feel like ants crawling on me, so I'm finna go sit on the car. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, man, but it goes to a point where it's like, it's amazing, you know, um, we supposed to rejoice in these times, and I used to be in the gym, they used to have it on the news, but the only time they, uh, they don't have it on the news, only time they have the news playing is when in the restroom. You know what I'm saying? That's the only place. But when you over there on the massage chair in the Planet Fitness, you know what I'm saying? They don't have the news on. They have FX or some type of sci-fi channel on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to watch that. This make-believe stuff. Uh, uh, Batman, which is a narcissist. You know what I'm saying? Spider-Man and all this. I don't want to watch all that. You know what I'm saying? That people choose Batman over Superman. But I feel like I'm just doing idle talk right now. You know what I'm saying? Just came on here, you know, to uh, voice up, you know what I'm saying, speak up, you know. I know it's believers watching, but I know it's other people who keep it those uh, believers from coming in the session because they probably told you something scaring the captives into not having fellowship. You know what I'm saying? Because they eventually saying he's falling away like I'm falling away from what? From what? So if I'm falling away to something that I mean I'm rising with something else, right? So what I'm rising with? Ask him that. What I'm rising with? How could, how could I stop believing in Jesus Christ? And Jesus Christ is the only reason why I'm alive. Only reason why I got this car. Been living on the street since 2008. Do I look like I've been stressed? Do I look like I've been losing sleep? God said he gives me peace that surpasses all understanding. But it's not the peace that the world gives you. The, the world don't give you no peace. You know what I'm saying? They're going to stalk you, apply pressure, and do all this other nonsense to get you to fall away. They're going to put stumbling blocks in your path to make you, make you cause you to lose faith in God. And stop putting your trust or lose trust in Jesus Christ. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually chubby. Not, you know, water weight, rather. You know, people who work out know it's water weight. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you never seen the child of God begging for bread. Do it look like I'm hungry? <laughs> the world ain't feeding me. The world ain't doing nothing for me. But they think they can sit there and judge me. You know what I'm saying? You got to be crazy. I, you, you, do you know how I'm going to look at you? You represent wokeism. You you represent kids or um, being able to make a decision to cut their Johnson off after they've been taught to cut their Johnson off. But they've been taught, raised to be homosexuals. Talking about homosexuality is okay, doing all this and that and the third. Be gay, basically. Be a faggot, basically. Then they get nine years old, and now at their young age, now they can run up in them for their own sexual appetite. Then when they get older, they throw them away. They throw them away. Just like... A, a young, beautiful woman get married at a young age because he don't want nobody else to have her. One with money. He going to use you up. And then once she gets to her late 30s or 40s, he used her all up, banged every hole because that's what they do. They get a divorce. Then now you have this beautiful woman out here. You know what I'm saying? No walls, no kids, divorce. They can't get married again. Because she hasn't been widowed and it hasn't been because of uh, uh, cheat infidelity. You know what I'm saying? It's because basically he got tired of it and made up a situation so they can depart. You know. So, you know, it just becomes a situation where, you know, I'm all over the place talking. You know what I mean? I'm just 
pretty much speaking what's on my mind. You know what I'm saying? And um, I figured, you know, if I was speaking to a other, a, another believer, another believer would definitely feel what I'm saying, what's going on and all this and then the third. You know what I'm saying? So the people who stalk in the page, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know, judge not unless you be judged first with the same message you judge other people. It's going to be a message to you. And that judgment is saying how you're going to destroy somebody. Because when the judge is on the, on the, on the seat, the judgment is handed down a sentence. You know what I'm saying? Death penalty, S amount of years, probation, or the person goes free instead of guilty, right? So people sitting here judging. Judge not, let you be judged first with the same measure that you judge other people. So they figured they going to get rid of me. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, they judge Jesus Christ. So who am I? You know, I feel blessed to be going through this. Because if I wasn't going through this, guess what? I would more than likely be one that's oppressing somebody else or sitting back watching somebody that bear the light of Jesus Christ get oppressed and not saying nothing. And that's equally, that's equivalent to being an oppressor because I'm not saying nothing. I'm not speaking truth. And God said that his true worshipers are going to worship him in spirit and truth. You know what I'm saying? So when it go to that point, you know, you don't stand for truth, you fall for a lie. Many will be deceived. Loving a lie, hating the truth. You know what I'm saying? You can love the truth, but if you ain't speaking it, you're equivalent to a liar. Because you're not standing on you. You're a coward for not speaking the truth. You're a coward. You know? And, and, and can't no coward, you know, delight. God can't delight himself in the coward. You can't even please the Lord. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's like me being the president of the United States and my son walking around the earth through, through the United States scared of somebody. You, you, are you serious? Don't you? I'm the president. You know what I'm saying? I got people watching you. You don't even know it. Because I love you so much. You're my, you're my brother. You're my son. Right? I got them following you everywhere you go. You don't know. They right there by you, but you don't see them. Like an angel, arms folded on your right hand side. God said the the army of the Lord encamps the angels of the uh, the angels of the Lord encamp around those who put their trust in them, right? I believe that's what he said. I'm gonna have to go back. You know what I'm saying? But God said He commanded His angels to keep you in all your ways, lest you uh, stub your toe uh, on uh, on the stone. God commands you to His angels to keep you in all your ways, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You know what I'm saying? So when they go to that situation, I'm the president of my son out here, scared of somebody, scared to go here, scared to go there, Washington, uh, Alabama, Florida, New York. You got to be crazy. No, nah, don't be scared to go nowhere. Matter of fact, I go before you. You know what I'm saying? By where, by where my uh, Rangers and Navy SEALs I got all around you everywhere you go. You just don't see them. You know what I'm saying? Don't disrespect me like that, son. You know what I'm saying? You bear my name. You know what I'm saying? You bear my name. Don't disrespect me like that. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make me look like I ain't do my job. Like I didn't teach you what you're supposed to know about what's going on in the world to a point where you don't have to feel. I run everything. It's just people I have out here who think they running it they know who you is they ain't gonna say it but they know they know you my son they not gonna say it though but if you allow them to uh, take advantage of you that's what they gonna do because you allowing it and guess what when things get too heavy then you're gonna see security and plain clothes come up to you and direct you another way 
you're going to see somebody else in different clothes. You don't even know that secret service getting the people who coming up behind you that you don't see off of you and away for you. You know what I'm saying? They there to protect the serve, right? Okay, they pop up out of nowhere. Because they watching you too. You my son. So as long as you be who you supposed to be, they going to do their job because they don't carry the execution of weapons for nothing. But you just got some who, who bad apples who on that squad. You know what I'm saying? You got bad apples on that squad. Who ain't upholding the oath and oath, oath they took when they before they entered the office or as they was entering the office, what they were sworn in on. You know what I'm saying? So those right there, you got to discern those and make sure, you know what I'm saying, you treating the ones who are actually doing their job the right way and honoring the authority that they have. You know what I'm saying? But the ones that's bogus, oh, they going to get what's coming to them. Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. Let me know what's going on. Cast your cares and worry on Jesus Christ because he cares for you. Don't trip on that. You know what I'm saying? I think I went a little too deep in there. I forgot the original concept. Like I say, I'm just venting. You know what I'm saying? It's 26 minutes and it's just going to be a long video. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, things with that, you know, you got the, uh, the volcano eruptions. You got the floods, you got the tornadoes all the way out of nowhere, you know, the the, the 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 bridge collapsing. You know, God basically told me he ain't want me on the road. Cause every time I try to go on the road as a truck driver, you know, they stop it. And then CR England, they got me blocked off where I can't get hired with nobody else. So that's a dead sign that God don't want me on the road. You know what I'm saying? Cause why would they block me from getting hired saying that I wasn't doing my job pretty much but they kept sending me uh when i was over the road they kept sending me messages like you've been driving over five hours straight pull over and get some rest i'm like man i'm not trying to get no rest man i'm finna another hour i'm finna take my little 30 minute judge myself and see how much longer can i drive where's the next walmart stop you know what i'm saying that type of situation then they try to put that in the game you know, just because I hopped out the back of the school bus. You know what I'm saying? They was doing it the day, the day before because people were on the bus standing up. That's the infraction right there. You're not supposed to do that. If ain't nobody got a seat, you got to come double back around. But they didn't want to do that. You know what I'm saying? Then they play favoritism. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, you know what? It's all good. It's, it's what it is. You know what I'm saying? So... Way I see it, it's done for a reason. God must don't roll me on the road. You know, I was gonna go to Yellowstone, you know, and you know, it got flooded out. Now there's a bridge collapse. A train derailment. And the train derailed because of the bridge collapsed over there. And they still got flooded. They got flooded in Utah and all that. They got the wildfires in Canada and all this, and there's people still get getting married. Still party, you know, Pride Month. Not just the parade, but the whole entire month. Are you serious? But then God said it was going to happen, so we folks to rejoice. You know what I'm saying? They got a song talking about uh, we're here, we're queer, and we're coming for your children. So Satan is becoming more bold. And then Satan can only do what God gave him permission to do. And God is showing the believers and the people who don't believe, showing whoever he showed his truth to. He's showing them like, look, I told you I was going to give them over to a reprobate mind, give them over to the desires of their heart. So don't get mad at them. You know what I'm saying? Hate evil, but don't be mad at them. Just stay away from them. You know, stay away from them. That's all. You know, what do it light have to do with darkness? You know what I'm saying? You're going over there to they par parade and pride and all that, talking about the word of God. No, what you doing that for? You know what I'm saying? You correct the fool. What did God say? You correct the fool 
in the open, some let she tear you to pieces. You know what I'm saying? No, what you doing that for? You know what I'm saying? Then you out talking about some God said go into the world and all this, tell them this and okay, cool. It may be a scripture to fit that. I, I may I'm not. I got you know that's when they be better be fellowship, right? That's why it's better to have fellowship. But you know, no, you go to a one one on one because you talk to a whole crowd. You are gonna bring a situation to yourself. Why you talking about you? Uh, God said go into the world. You know you 